I've done a lot of specialty matches over the years and uh, people ask me this is the first time that I've done a dog collar. The answer is uh, no, I've done a few actually. Uh, but uh, the answer to this question is B, Warp Tube. Uh, uh, I did a tag team dog collar way back at the IWA Mid-South days uh, with the Tomasellis and uh, that was actually the first time I really got busted open to be honest with you. Uh, I've, I had like bloody noses and you know like the scar on my forehead but that was I that was the first time uh, that 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 ever happened. Um, those things are unpredictable. The chains are unpredictable. Um, which leads me to what happened at Warp Tour. Warp Tour was Eric Cannon and myself. This I tried I should have looked back at this but I believe it's 2000 Eight, two thousand nine, somewhere in there. Uh, but we wrestled at Warp Tour, and um, the deal is, is you know, depending on what you're looking at, the size of the the links, they can either be really grip, they they can, you know, rip and kind of think about it. Just think about a chain. So on this one, I had it wrapped around my head. It, you know, whatever. Uh, as we pulled, um, it started to, you know, like push here and. Now knowing what I know, when I went into the hospital when I wrestled Effie to get stitched up, I know that the layer of skin is very thin there. So when it was just the pullback, it was fine, but I was holding it here. So it went up across and it ended up uh, raking my skin and ripping it and uh, making, and, and I bled a lot. That was the time where I kind of knew that I had bled a lot because when I opened my eyes, I was expecting to see the chain, but I saw yellow. And that's generally how I've known since then is if I'm bleeding quite a bit and it pools in my eyes and I see yellow, that's how I know. Um, but um, Warp Tour was not exactly the best spot to be covered in blood walking around in tights. I was having my Rowdy Piper blue tights on at that time. And I had to find spots to get cleaned up and that was really tricky. And I wish I had the photo from it. I do not. I lost it on my hard drive. Um, there was a photo of me taking pictures. But like the other thing too, Warp Tours and, and you know, just in general festival and stuff like that when you're bleeding. People are weird about it because it's like, did that happen? You know, like people look at you and like, I mean, obviously I'm in wrestling tights, so it could be, but people are like, what the hell happened to him? Like, did something happen in a pit? Did I get beat up or banged up or whatever? Uh, and then, you know, when you realize I'm wearing spandex, um, then you're probably like, oh, something totally different or weird or whatever. And you're right, it's really weird. The setup was really cool though, it was the ring and then we had a cage that went around the entire, you know, the entire thing. And so uh, as the bands were playing, we were back there and like when you hit the ring, like everyone came over. So we decided it would be a fun time to do a specialty match, right? I uh, wasn't expecting to bleed that much. Um, but yeah, so uh, the answer to this particular question, uh, where have I done dog collar matches? Uh, it would be Warp Tour was the one that we were looking for. So Warp Tour. <laughs>